Today on Susquehanna Express, I am speaking with Dave Smith, who is the coordinator for Wounded Warrior Soul Care at Just Peace. Thank you for coming, Dave. Thanks for having me. So can you share a little bit about what is Wounded Warrior Soul Care? Yes, um, about 10 years ago, after my deployment to Iraq, I began a conversation with Stephanie Hickson, who's the executive director of Just Peace, about a justice issue. Uh, our veterans were coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq who were getting cared for physically, emotionally, and psychologically, but nothing in the spiritual dimension. And so this conversation elapsed or evolved into um, a new initiative and in looking at how we in the local church can provide ministry to our Bennards and their families. Great, yeah. Um, sometimes we do forget about um, the spiritual aspect of that. I know I have heard of the organization Wounded Warriors before, mm -hmm. but not for Wounded Warriors for Soul Care. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some ways that you equip the local church to um, help those that are returning from war? Well, <clears throat> interesting enough is that uh, for those who are on active duty, um, they return to a base or a post and there's uh, resources available, but for those in the Guard and Reserves, they come back to uh, local towns in Pennsylvania, Nebraska, Missouri, Minnesota, wherever, and, uh, and when they are demobilized, they go back home and they really don't know where to turn. And it's a great opportunity for the local church to get involved. And so I have an opportunity to provide some training, introducing them to the military culture and family dynamics, mm. looking at maybe some of the transition issues that a, a returning combat veteran will go through and also what a family goes through. And then a lot of our, our vets have experienced trauma while they're deployed and what that looks like and how a church can be involved in providing ministry to uh, especially in the spiritual realm uh, and soul care and, and with a combat vet who has been traumatized. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about it before, but training would be important because I know, um, I don't know if it, from your experience, is it hard for veterans sometimes to talk about the trauma that they've seen and their, their experiences? That's a great question. Often they are. Um, it's a matter of trust. It's a matter of establishing relationships. And I think our local churches within our, our communities have um, many veterans probably living within mm -hmm. within their um, their context, and they mm -hmm. probably don't even know they're there. Um, or if they are, how would you reach out to them? How do you right. develop a relationship? And so, the training kind of indoctrinates them, so to speak, on what um, a veteran may have went through, and so that they can kind of get on a on an understanding of what that veteran faced, and then important and how to establish a relationship and how to establish a, a trust with with a veteran so that then th th they may be more apt to reach out and, and ask for some assistance or or even develop in a, in a conversation on 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 the spiritual uh, and looking at okay I, I've been wounded how can I how can I heal do you have two or three steps that you could share with us of how specifically you can reach out to a veteran um, there are some new initiatives uh, across the country that are, that are working really well, and one's called Peer to Peer. Uh, and within our congregations, uh, the, many of our congregations have veterans who, um, who sit in the pews, mm -hmm. and an opportunity for them to reach out uh, in conversation with, with a veteran who has come back. And, and so that Peer to Peer, um, they're, uh, a, a combat veteran's more apt to share their story with somebody who's probably been through a similar circumstance or situation than with, with somebody who's not. Mm -hmm. and, and so that is a great way. Another one's called, I would call spiritual mentoring, uh, where um, maybe that combat veteran from Vietnam who went through a difficult trial period, um, had some readjustment issues and challenges, now is spiritually mature and has kind of worked through that, is still on the journey, can be a mentor to a, a, a young vet who's just coming back from Afghanistan or Iraq. And lastly, I think I call them spaces of grace. I think we, we in the church can open our doors to um, provide uh, a, a sacred and safe space for our veterans to be open and be able to share their story um, with anybody who's willing to hear. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, the peer-to-peer -peer and mentoring program both sound like great ways um, to connect people within the church that um, may just not ever have really met, um, but this is a way that they can meet and share those experiences with someone who knows what they've gone through. Yeah. Um, is there any specific story that you've had that of people that have, um, of churches that have opened up to this uh, veteran soul care? Well, um, I actually, when I got back from Iraq in 2004, um, I knew from my own experience that, that I was significantly changed, but I didn't know why or how. And um, a friend gave me this book uh, by Dr. Edward Tickets called War in a Soul. And interesting is that as you read this book, um, his premise is, is that those who um, engage in, in war um, suffer soul wounds. Mm -hmm. and who best to take care of that than than you know the local church and so mm -hmm. um so i look at my own story and my own experience at 30 years as an army chaplain um having been to combat four times uh knowing that i was significantly changed how did i begin my journey of healing and part of it is i had to look at my own soul and um and begin that process of, of searching and and praying and and, uh, and crying and, and, and with that, I think um, there are so many out there I, in, in our churches or in our communities who have had similar experiences and that we, um, I believe, have an obligation to be a ministry to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. There's always um, little sections of the population um, that sometimes might get overlooked, um, but there's specific ways that you can reach out to them and uh, really minister to exactly what they're looking for. So um, I thank you for sharing. Thank you, appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about this ministry or others that are similar to it, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. Express.